Carly Bell and today I want to show you how I'm going to make a shirt on my white toner printer and the whole process using the software that comes with it and a little bit about me I, this is what happens to me I'm on Facebook and I'm scrolling and I see this and it cracks me up and I'm like oh my god I need that shirt but of course I can make this myself I don't know if this was the exact photo I saw I couldn't it was in one of the craft groups I'm in but when I searched on Facebook it, the post looked something like this and I was like I love this I'm from the 80s Oregon Trail was my jam so I need to make this shirt for myself so the first thing I did was I went to Etsy and I searched please be patient with me I'm from the 1900s and I found the design super quick and easy it was only a dollar fifty the only thing that I didn't like about this design though is the colors that are in it. These are not necessarily my favorite. And even in the case, if I wanted it to make it look like this shirt, this is just a PNG image. This is not a illustrator image or EPS that I can manipulate. So what I see is what I get. <clears throat> However, with the Vivid Rip software that came with my white toner printer I can play with the colors and that's what I want to show you how to do that I before I open up the software I did want to show you something I like this but I wanted more of a pastel rainbow color scheme and there's a way we can go in the program and just pick and choose colors off of a scale almost but Another thing for people who are not good at picking out colors, you can just Google pastel rainbow color palette. And I put the number five in because I knew I needed five different colors. And you can find all kinds of great inspiration. And then some of those will actually give you the hex number, which that we can enter into the program. So this is the color palette I want to go with, the hex numbers are here so I can just copy and paste those into my vivid rip software so let's pull the vivid rip software over here let me get this out the way and get situated here okay here's my vivid rip software and what I need my downloads folder so i bought that design downloaded it went to my downloads folder I'm just going to drag and drop it here and let that work all right so here's the design it's way too big right now so i am going to resize it now i'm moving it not resizing it there we go and get that to be something I can work with and then I'm gonna go to view zoom fit to window so everything's in place so what I want to change is the colors of each of these sets of words and the vivid rip software gives you the capability to do that so first you have to select the design and then go to tools and I've used these before where you can totally knock out black which means remove all black and change it to a different color or you can choose a certain color to completely remove make it more transparent distress and then this is what I'm playing with today color replacement so this is where I can pick a color in the design and then change it to whatever color I want there was some things I had to play with this particular design though because some of these colors are close to one another and I'm gonna show you how to work with that if this happens to you too so first I'm gonna click the dropper and I can zoom in. I don't think you really need to that much, but if you need to, you can zoom with buttons here or your mouse, but I'm going to click this color for please be, and there's the color from the dropper. And what I wanna change it to, and this is where you can drag this around to anything you want. And you see it down here, you can change the intensity, but if we go here, I can enter the actual hex number, but there's lots of options that you can search the, through the spectrum, these cute colors here, but lots of options. So I'm on RGB sliders, hex number, 
let me pull up my rainbow on my other screen. Okay, so the first number I'm copying from there and pasting. No, it won't let me paste. I tried this earlier. Let me just enter it. So F F eight B nine four. Enter. So this is the color I want. And then as soon as I close this out, it has now changed that. But see, it's also changed this one. I think it did. Yes, because look, it used to be this color. So what we do is we reduce the tolerance until, ah, you see, until it goes down. There we go, right there. So now please be is the only thing changed and patient didn't change. So play with the tolerance until what you want is the right color and it didn't mess with anything else. Once you get that hit, you can play with these things if you want, but when you're done hit okay. And it's gonna think and it's going to change the color. And then we just rinse and repeat. We're gonna do this for each section until I have everything the color that I want. Once again, tools, color replacement, grab my dropper, click the color, click here. My hex number for the next one is FFAAA5, enter, close, and see it changed this one too, so I'm gonna reduce the tolerance until it goes back. Okay, let it think, and now it's changed. And so I'll just keep doing this until everything is the color I want. Now with this one, it changed my other two colors. I think that's right. So yeah, I just need to reduce the tolerance to where my other two colors go back to what they were. I think that one was more of a, there we go. There we go. So I need to reduce it a lot, down to 21. And now this is what I want it to be. Last color. Okay, so now that I have everything the color that I want, something else that can be helpful is if you're not putting this on a white shirt and you're putting it on a black shirt, a gray shirt, whatever color you're doing, and you want to make sure that these colors are gonna look good on the color shirt you're pressing it on, you can change the color of the whole background. And that is right here with the background color. And you can either do, if you know a, a hex number or you could use those sliders. For me, I just hold up the shirt and, and try to get this box here to look something like the shirt. So I had, a darker-ish purple shirt, so something like that, and close, and so I could see what this is gonna look like on my purple shirt. So this is kind of what I was going for, kind of a pastel, but then almost neon looking um, on the purple shirt. So you can play around with this to your liking to make sure these colors are going to look good on the garment you're gonna press it on. And the last thing we have to do is actually size it and make sure everything fits how we want. So with me, I wear a women's small medium. I like my designs to be about 10 um, inches wide. So the easiest thing for me to do here is have the design clicked, go on the width and go to 10 and hit enter. And it changes proportionally and I'm going but one thing I do want to look at before I change, let me actually undo. No, not rotate, undo. <laughs> before I size it to what I want to be, I am also going to look at this design, look how far this is down from here and this from here. I want to crop this so that the box actually goes around the design itself. So I'm gonna click crop and see now, I'm gonna do this. So when I tell it, I want it to be 
so many inches tall, it's going to be the right finish size. The width is okay. I don't want to shrink that in any crop that in anymore. That looks fine. So I'm gonna hit okay. So now my box actually goes around the design nice and tight. That's what I want. And now I want the width to be about 10 inches wide. And I'm going, I am going to rotate it. And I'm going to press this one. This is center in the page and I can see everything looks good. I like to have a little bit of a margin on the top and bottom and also I guess on the sides and the top and bottom because I've noticed that if I make my prints go all the way to the edge it will cut off. So the width of the page I want to say is here it is 8.27. I'll go the widest I'll go is 8 inches and the tallest I will go is 11.5 inches. Those are my sweet spot for not getting any of my image cut off on the edges. But for this shirt, I would like it to be about 10 inches wide. I could even probably go to 10 point, oops, 10.5. That did not work. 10.5. There we go. And that makes me about 8.5. Four. See, no, that's too close there. Let me center it. Still probably a little bit too tight. Let's go with 8.2. There we go. And center. All right, so now it's ready to send to the printer. Marry my adhesive page to it and then press on the shirt. So I hope this video helped you to play with correcting colors or changing colors, visualizing your print on a colored background, and then sizing and all that good stuff. So I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. So y'all have a great day. Bye.